my gosh. Because roses come in dozens, and you had a basically a 12-month treatment journey. Yes. So I thought these literally represent everything you went through. Oh. And they have thorns, and I was just pulling out one. I just remember the first time, just what you told us, when you got that first rose, thanks for cancer, everyone, and it has thorns, and it feels like, what the heck? It's scary, it's fearful. But then the emotions go with, I got this, I'm gonna do this. There are roses on top of the thorns. That was the first one. And then went the second one, I got chemo, finally, it's starting, I'm on a plan, I got this, but I'm starting to lose my hair. <laughs> I have some nausea, I lost my appetite. But there's a rose, because now you're two twelfths done. Remember, I, I don't know if you remember this. I, I would always say to people, oh, you're two out of the six. That's 33%. You're almost done. Shoot. Yeah. We're almost done with this. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Even though just two. Like, wait, got this. I just did two. No, you're almost done. Then three. It's, it's half. But it's like, oh, now I'm feeling the heavy effects of it. It may be that it's neuropathy on my nerves, or, or like you had, mm-hmm. or um, more nauseous. I'm losing weight. And gosh, I'm tired all the time. Yeah. Can we get done soon? Yeah, don't worry. 50%, you're done. Yes. And then, you know, four and five happen, and you're finally like, can I be done with this? I think there's a rubber band in here. Can I be done with this already? You know, it's, it's like this whole thing like, when? How much more chemo? When are we done with this? And then finally, that this one really means a lot to people, right, Amber? When you get to the sixth one, it the does. sixth chemo, yeah. Yeah. I remember I always told you, this part is the hardest part, but once you get through this, the rest of these, and look at how many roses you already have. And look at how many you have. Look at what you yes. behind you. 50, well, 100% of this part. But what I don't prepare people for and what we talked about is you do surgery and people go back and forth. What kind and what should I do? But no one emerges back from that and says, okay, I'm great. I'm fixed now. Actually, the seventh one is more painful to most than the first. And you told us today that those dressing rooms when you're trying on things, yeah. uh, it's like, Wow, I've lost, I've lost my hair, I've lost my breasts, I've lost all all these symptoms, my life, my ability to travel. Yeah. This one, actually, tell me if I'm right, Amber, this one hurts the most sometimes. Uh, Well, I think it's when you strip that identity from what a woman is. You're stripping your hair, you're stripping your breasts, that's what a woman is identified as. So that is a different type of grief. Yes. Different type of grief, but this one yeah. hurts people. It's, it's like loss. the first one. It's a real loss. Yeah. It's a physical. Yeah, a physical yeah. Loss. yeah it's yeah. a physical. Uh, yeah. But then again, you got this, and the maintenance you did like, like a dream. I mean, these. I only have four. It was like what twelve, nine more months. Yeah. <laughs> like it's only nine months. Don't worry, you'll be done soon. You're like, oh, um, it's like month one. She made, right? it, look, she made it look like four. <laughs> but these are. Okay, uh, it's not chemo anymore. Yes, it's chemo light. We not call, chemo we call light. it, we call yeah, it chemo light. Chemo light through it, yeah. right? Because the heat re- reaction to it wasn't as bad as right. Like you can reaction. travel now. There's no um, infection precautions. You wear a mask, but you know yeah. you're good to go, and you don't feel the side effects. And these four, hap- in my opinion, happen quickly. But in your opinion, you're like, oh my god, that's nine months of four. But then you get. This one, that 12. Remember, I still yes. remember when you did this one, and we're like, we're ringing bells yes. and celebrating. We had yes. to do the bell on the phone, remember? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> right. somebody pulled your bell off the wall earlier. Oh, gosh. And then it never got moved yes. to the third oh, floor. My God, it took You're right. Oh. She put it on TikTok. <laughs> oh, she did? Yeah. I, I need that link. I, so I, put the, I put the bell on my Where's phone. Where's the bell? Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's right, I do remember that. <laughs> but you see, this last one is more than just I'm done. It's everything you talked about. It's legacy, pay it forward, healing, survivorship, and uh, I got this. And, and, and this is you. This is your happiness, your joy. This is you forever. Yes. Cured. Yes. And I just love giving this last one because you have all of these, but this makes the full oh. bouquet. Yes. And, I mean, this oh, is you, beautiful. Paula. It's 12 months. I know it's more. Yeah, it was a year and a half, but it's 12 cycles of a lot yeah. of treatment. And right. here we are, laughing on a podcast yes. about it. And you're going to yes. write a book about this, and you're going to do a exactly. stand-up yeah. comedy career. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, well, thank you, Doc. Thank I so appreciate, much here. appreciate yeah. it. You. you really are inspiring, Paula. And I think, oh, you know, well, we you. talk about the time. Come and be that inspiring person at the support groups and everything we've been through. and. Oh. You know, sister that. to sister. If I, can, if I can help one person, you already have. To make them feel like they're you already one. have. You have. Yeah. That's, that's a great feeling.